I'm on a carnival cruise, but I think this could apply to probably almost any cruise. So for those of you who've never cruised before, those of you who haven't cruised in a while like me, I hadn't cruised in about 20 years. This is really good information. One, I don't know if you can tell, but the I'm on, I'm inside the boat, I'm in a stateroom, and it is the motion, you can feel it. So one thing is make sure you pack something dealing with um, motion sickness. Um, there's lots of stuff out there, meds, you can pack meds or maybe um, a patch. I did not bring anything and I underestimated how it would make me feel, especially over 50, I think you feel things differently. Another thing is to um, pack a sweater or a light jacket. Even though it may be warm where you're going, it may be cool when you leave and it may be cool in the evenings and the top of the mornings. Sometimes I, I get cold even when we go to dinner. You want to have, wow, it just a huge wave just hit up. I should just take. Don't forget about gratuity. On lots of cruises now, it's mandatory. They already tell you to uh, to account for it. Like this is a four day cruise. So anywhere from 50 to $75 total for the whole cruise is gratuity for your steward, for your wait staff. And I think there's like a team of people that they automatically um, want you to tip. So on some cruises, the one I'm on especially, it is mandatory. So you have like an account when you come onto the cruise. You can put down a credit card before you come, which is another good idea. And then you can keep track of it. So if you have exceptionally bad service, which we did not, um, you can say, hey, I don't wanna tip the mandatory or whatever it is that you are strongly suggesting by putting on my credit card. So plan for gratuity. Um, pack sun stuff, hats, sunglasses, because of course the locals are gonna try to sell you sunglasses, very overpriced, and sunblock. Even people of color with lots of melanin like me, or melanated as people are saying now, you still need sunblock, so make sure you pack that. One suitcase, and it can be a big suitcase, it's not like the airlines where you know, it's very much um, restricted to how big and all the size. They do have a very suggested size, but one, I have one big suitcase and um, it's better than having two, especially if you plan to get on and off fairly quickly. If you don't, if you don't want to wait in long lines or wait for your luggage to arrive, because you can check your luggage when you get ready to check onto the port at the cruise, at the, at the embarking place but it's better to just bring it on yourself you know you have one rolling bag and maybe just like a big purse or a backpack or something to me that's better bring cash especially if you are docking someplace where you know you're going to buy a lot of souvenirs or go into the locale and do stuff you want to have cash you don't want to bring your credit card one for safety um, i heard that here where we docked at in mexico that you don't want to use your credit card, that people find a lot of erroneous charges afterwards. But also it's easier to have going to buy when you have cash and get small bills. That's another tip. Small bills. Enjoying this video? Well, please take the time to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell right next to it so you'll be alerted of all my new videos. Thank you. Bring small bills, specifically bring small bills like ones and fives, so much easier to haggle with small bills than it is um, to show somebody a $20 bill when you're trying to spend $5. You know, it's just the mental part of it. You know, if you're gonna haggle, they already know you're gonna haggle. Everything is really inflated already. So, you know, you're just doing the day. Bring two bathing suits. So if you plan on actually dipping in the pool or going to the beach, wherever you dock at, there's pools on the actual ship too because you'll have days when you're at sea because you have to get to the destination. And if it's really warm and sunny, you know, you might want to put on a, a swimsuit and then it might not even be dry the next day or maybe that evening you want to put it back on or do something else. It's wet. So you can always have a dry swimsuit. So of course, a cover up. Because some um, times after you are in the bathing suit, you want to go right in and go get something to eat. There's certain attire and dress codes for certain 
areas of the um, ship. First of all, it's 12 stories. Yes, 12 stories. But I don't know how long the ship is. I'm sure, I'm sure a football field long. But bring comfortable dressy shoes because there will be some nights that you'll need to dress up for dinner or for events. And the walk could be very long to the ballroom or to the area that you're going to or to wherever and you wanna wear some dressy shoes, that's maybe. Uh, make sure they're comfortable or just wear some not so cute shoes <laughs> that are comfortable because all the pictures and things that you're that you're gonna take nobody's gonna see your feet um, gym attire I got a tip to bring gym clothes and they have a nice gym and spa here open to everybody and the the gym treadmills and the machines faced out to the wall and the wall was completely made of glass not real glass but some type of thick plexiglass where you could literally see the ocean as you worked out so we got up early because we're gym rats to go work out and especially because you're going to be eating so much food mm. yeah even with my working out i'm sure i packed on five or six pounds yes. bring some over-the-counter meds um everybody here is from all different countries all different places there's all types of stuff. I'm sure you probably could find some basic meds somewhere on the ship, but why bother? Bring your headache pills, aspirins, allergy, just whatever it is that you may use over the counter and take for granted at your house. Um, on a ship, you really need to already have that. Um, oh, a hub. There was only one plug in the room. Only one plug in the room. Um, and this was so cool because the one plug in the room turned into several plugs and not just because of, you know, cause you don't always need plugs. You need USB ports, but some things do need plugs. And there's another person in the room. There's two people in our room. So both of us had things that needed plug and that needed USBs. So I bought a USB hub. And then this for things that need a plug too, like the battery to my camera is not a USB chargeable thing. So anyway, just bring hubs and, you know, multi adapters for um, charging up all your devices, your phones, your watch, your, your, your. and you might want to put in some earplugs just to go to sleep. It's very disconcerting here, <laughs> up again just constantly, and we're on the bottom, so we're hearing it. So the higher you go, I heard it, it's not so bad. But earplugs, nice little something you can pack. Um, oh, check your phone and data plan. When you're on these international waters, um, hey. I do not know what plan works out here, but I know roaming is a, mm, it's a, it's a mud law. Yeah, you want to check your plan. And then when you get to where you're going, like um, most of our plans had had a Mexico or some other Canadian plan already built in, but getting there, it might take you a day or so. To check and see if you have a plan and if not buy a special plan or just plan to just be unavailable because that right there you want to check before you get on the cruise what type of data plan you have and be prepared to go in airplane mode which brings me to another thing most i didn't know this but most cruise lines have apps like carnival cruise has their own app and their own intranet which is free so you can um there you go carnival cruise has its own app and they have what I call an intranet. So therefore, you can see what's going on all the time. You can look at menus. You can look at menus. You can you can see activities and things that are that are going on. You could check your account to see, you know, because everything is sign and sale. They're not taking on any cash on here. You can look at menus. You can see what's good, what you're going to have for dinner. Just all of that. You can see all the different things that are going on. Excursions, daily happenings on the ship, off the ship. Um, and that brings me to something else that's a little bit TMI, but hunty, you need to do it. Bring something, and I'm not endorsing poopery, um, you know, or whatever. This is not an endorsement. But poopery or some type of 
bathroom air fresh and when you got two people in a tiny little room like this and the bathroom is akin to a porta potty yes it is tiny and small like an airplane <laughs>